Shall we begin? I'm Councilwoman Candace Quarles, and we are in DeSoto with our favorite, our future. Is it? Can I say future junior senator? District, yes. this is your your community. You can say here. anything. Yes, ma'am. We're with Candace Quarles, Council Member Quarles, who is on the ballot May 5th, unopposed. Yes, which unopposed. Which is the only way to run. <laughs> and has has kindly agreed to pilot the minivan. Yes. Introduce us to some of her constituents. And if you stay tuned with us, she's going to kick off the town hall meeting that we're having in DeSoto. I just want y'all to know, I purposely only had one kid in life just so I don't have to drive a minivan, ever. <laughs> so you making me break that rule already, but it's Amy, fine. are it's you fine. watching this? Are you watching? <laughs> so Amy and I got a minivan, um, have since sold it and, and bought a, a different kind of car, but we were we had, we had were a minivan family because we had three kids. Three kids, okay. Yeah, you got, you got, it, you got to take the no, truth. No, it's in Southern Dallas County, south down 35. So downtown to downtown is about 15 minutes. Uh, we're about 53,000 residents. We have this big exciting event um, called DeSoto Works. So that's what I saw the t shirt. Yep. That is a job fair which is hosted um, at DC3, so Disciple Center Community Church. Um, and it's in partnership with the city, the Economic Development Corporation, the Chamber, um, because we want to focus on how do we get all of our residents uh, at a livable wage job. So it's something I champion while I'm on the council. This is year two, and we had um, over 300 people. Pack the house last That's time. awesome. This is our city hall, so you're always to see. Yeah, so I'm gonna turn them around so you all can see where we're so going. So that is town center, what we call town center. So in there is our council chambers, and uh, these are a couple of the businesses here in the area. So this is top five barbecues. All right, we're in DeSoto, and again, pretty soon, uh, around three o'clock, uh, we're gonna be at the Mint Foundation for a town hall in DeSoto. If you're anywhere nearby, come join us. Uh, you'll get to hear Councilwoman Quarles introduce us, um, so tell fun. us a lot, a lot about the, the community she loves and represents. We gotta get. So we have a question for you. I ordered uh, the brisket sandwich. Chris uh, ordered uh, the sausage. <laughs> the council member ordered the pork ribs. Which of us made the best choice? Brisket. The brisket. Uh, <laughs> well done. That's what, there you go. He's always right. He said, there you, you go. You vote for a guy that's always right. That's why he's in charge. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's hands down. Uh, that's, that's what, what you're known for. Up. Yes. This is, uh, everyone in the public can see this is oak. This is pecan. It's soak at the bottom. It's panning out for you. Thank so you so much. Much success. It is 209 East Pleasant Run yes. in DeSoto, Texas. The number eight barbecue spot, and we're going to get to number one. Yes, there we go. I like yeah. that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, then. That's Thank exactly you, what it is. Thank you, Thank guys. So and please remember yeah. to come yes. and vote for him in November. Because we, we believe that our vote counts. That's right. And that it's our, our duty. So I ran when I was 34 years old. Um, I didn't see me on the council. I didn't see young families being represented. Now. And why are we this here? is all for you. Look, the people okay. are here. So what? Yeah. They're showing Instead up. of just going through the crowd and just starting. Oh.
Councilwoman Quarles. I want to note that this is our leadership and the future of our leadership because her work has just begun. And she was reminding me that she is on the ballot in May and she's running in the best possible way, and that is unopposed. Um, and we know that DeSoto is already a better place for her service, uh, her ambition not for herself, but for her community and for the people that she wants to serve. And works for nothing, don't, don't get paid a dime. Works for the future of this community, of this state, and this country. Every event that you have helped us to set up, that you've invited folks to, that you've organized. This is not central planning out of the Veto for Texas campaign. These are people from the community, of the community, doing something for the community. If it was the 2,000 people who greeted us in Garland, Texas, or the 1,000 people who came out in Roanoke, or the amazing turnout today in the middle of the day on a Thursday in DeSoto. You all are making it happen, and I'm so grateful to you for this work. So Moaz, Dwight, Swati, wherever you are right now, thank you for joining us. And discussions on gun violence and gun safety. The Centers for Disease Control is prohibited by law from studying gun violence as though we are afraid of what that study might show us of what the facts might compel us to do. Imagine the Surgeon General 40 years ago being prevented from studying tobacco in its connection to lung cancer and the hundreds of thousands of Americans who are dying as a consequence. That's exactly what we're doing in this country. More than 30,000 of our fellow Americans every single year will lose their lives due to gun violence. This background check saved lives. And then this is what I learned from listening to Vietnam veterans. They tell me, I too carried an AR-15. And I carried it in the jungles of Vietnam because it was designed and sold to the US government for one purpose and one purpose alone, to kill people as effectively and efficiently in as great a number as possible. That's exactly what it does. Nothing else, don't delude yourself. And so there is no reason that we should be selling this to the people in America and not expecting it to be used in our churches and schools and concerts and streets. Who would have thought that in 2017, people would be taking to the streets of this country to march for science? <laughs> Taylor, if